If you're struggling to get views on YouTube, I want to show you a strategy that can help you blow up videos that you've already posted. For example, this video literally got two views in the first day of it being posted. But with the help of the strategy I'm about to show you, it now has over 100,000. And what's even cooler is this channel literally had zero subscribers when I first posted this video. Now I call this strategy the RCS method, and it works even if your channel is really small or you have a lot of competitors. For example, really small channel, this video literally got one view in 18 days. But after applying the RCS method, you can see that it now has almost 50. Here's a slightly larger channel. When I use the RCS method on this one, it got enough views to make this monkey do this. What the fuck? And here's an even bigger example where we took this video that was kind of flattening out at about 100k and used this method about here to get it to over 600,000 views. Moral of the story, if you want your old YouTube videos to stop being so dead, the RCS method can probably help. So how can you get your own dead YouTube videos to do this? Let's go through this step by step. First, why and how does this method actually work? Well, it's a scientific process that gets more people to click on your videos when YouTube recommends it to them. It's kind of like increasing your impression click-through rate, but the RCS method goes a bit deeper and there are a few key distinctions, which I'll talk about later. So for me to show you how this works, let me just go back to that last example you saw. So if I come to this video and I go to the reach tab, and I come across to click-through rate, you'll see that for the first 80 days or so, if I hover over this graph, we're getting between a four and a five click-through rate, roughly. Meaning that for about every 100 people who YouTube shows this video to, about four or five actually click on it. But at day 80, we started executing the RCS method. And what we can see is that our click-through rate went from getting four to five, it's now jumping roughly between six to seven click-through rate. So if I come to views here and I hover around day 80, at this point, we're at about 100 thousand views, which isn't too bad, but you can see it's relatively flat. But over the next couple of weeks, we can see it taking a much steeper incline until it reaches 600,000 views. And all of this was triggered down here at day 80 when we started implementing the RCS method. Let me show you step-by-step -step how it works, starting with R, recon. The first thing I want you to do is go to YouTube Studio, then come down to analytics. In your analytics, you're now gonna come and click on this see more tab. And then what I want you to do is to come up here and date range changes from 28 to seven days, and then come to impressions and click on this to sort videos by most impressions. And now what we're gonna do is scroll through this list of your videos and look for all of the videos that have gotten over 500 impressions in the last seven Seven days. Now, if you've got a slightly larger channel, you'll have multiple videos that meet this criteria, like you can see here. But if you have a smaller channel, you'll probably see something more like this, where maybe only a couple of your videos actually meet the 500 impressions criteria. Now, if you don't have any videos that have got 500 impressions in the last seven days, I'll talk more about your options in a moment. But first, let's now move to the next part of our method, C create. What you want to do is from the list of videos that meet the 500 impressions in seven days criteria, pick the one that is the best. The one that when you look at it and see how few views it got, you want to like stick bicycle spokes in your eyes, but you know it's a good video. And if it could just get more exposure, more people would watch it and enjoy it. So let's say in my case, I might pick this video here. I studied 5,400 YouTube shorts to crack the algorithm. Let's just go to the analytics of this video. Now this video obviously already has a significant amount of views, but don't worry, if you're doing this on a video that has far less views, the RCS method will work just the same, if not better. So once we've picked our video, for me it's this one, we're gonna create two to three new thumbnails for this video in a very specific way. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a sec, because revamping YouTube thumbnails for old videos isn't exactly a new strategy. But the problem is, if you just randomly update the thumbnails of random videos across your channel, you have just as good a chance of killing those videos as you do of helping them. And that's why when following the RCS method, we're going to do things in a very particular way. So you're going to pick a video that meets the criteria we talked about earlier. In my case, it's this one, and we're going to create two to three new thumbnails for it. So usually at this point, you'll be faced with one of two scenarios. The first scenario is when you look at the view graph of the video you're revamping thumbnails for, it makes you want to headbutt a curb. It's not getting many views. It's not getting many impressions. And in this situation, what you're going to do is make big changes. So to give you a real example, take a look at this thumbnail. So this is actually the original thumbnail for the how to get watch hours example. Example I showed you earlier in this video. But eventually when my third brain cell kicked in and I actually checked the stats, I realized that this was terrible, who would have guessed? And it should never have seen the light of day. So when I started using the RCS method, this is one of the revamps I made. 
it's basically a completely different thumbnail. And this is what I mean when I say, if your video's views suck, in your revamps, you should be making big changes like this. However, the second scenario you might find yourself in is you have a video that's actually doing kind of well, but kind of like that last Marvel movie you went to watch, it's like good enough, but you feel like it could have been so much better, which is basically every Marvel movie nowadays, let's be honest. <laughs> And in this circumstance, you still want to make thumbnail revamps, but you want to make small changes. For example, this video we're looking at currently, it did pretty well, I couldn't complain, but it's a YouTube Shorts video and it has about 330,000 views. And I think this video could have even more potential because for example, I have another YouTube Shorts video here posted around a similar time that has over 650,000 views. So even though I'm not disappointed with the results, I feel like my results could have been even better. And so I am going to make thumbnail redesigns, but they're going to be a lot more subtle. So for example, I might go from the 70% rule and test out the 73% rule. Or I might test out the 73% rule but have the word the be much bigger. Now regardless of whether you find yourself in situation one or situation two, thumbnail redesign could be an entire topic on its own. But if you want to get started right now but you're struggling to know where to start or to find inspiration because that TikTok thirst trap you saw two hours ago is still hogging like 80% of your mental bandwidth, a quick tip is to post your thumbnail and ask your community or friends for inspiration. Inspiration. And there are even paid communities that help you do this. For example, my students, we have a specific channel in our private Discord server where you literally just post thumbnails and get feedback from everyone. But with all that being said, back to our example, I've got a few of these thumbnail revamps here. So we're ready to move on to the final part of the RCS method, which is S. Sacrifice. I mean, split test. So what you're gonna do, I left a link in the description. When you click it, it's gonna take you to this page, thumbnail test. Basically, you're gonna click on this start testing button. For me, it's taking me straight to my account because I've already created one, but you'll be taken to a page where there's a button that you can click to connect your YouTube channel and you're gonna wanna do that. What this tool does is allow you to pick more than one thumbnail for your YouTube video and then it scientifically tests them against one another to find which one is the most clickable and will get you the most love from the the algorithm. That might sound trivial, but just to give you an example of how important I think this is and how much I use this, if I click into past, I'm going to show you all of the tests that I've done using this tool over the last six months. This video is not sponsored by Thumbnail Test, but I do know the creator of this tool. His name's Rox. Rox is a bit of a genius, and the proof of that is that Mr. Beast literally asked Rox to build him personalized YouTube software not long ago. And because Rox is a fan of this channel, he's given us a code, GYGC25, where you can get 25% off Thumbnail Test for your first month, which is a bit of a steal because after running all of these tests and actually talking with Rox multiple times over the last few months, I found a way to run tests that have led me to blowing up some of my older videos. So how do you do it? On the thumbnail test homepage, once you've set it up, we're gonna find the video that we created our alternate thumbnails for. So for me, it's this one. We're gonna click on it and we're gonna click next step. Now you can run tests on thumbnails, on titles or titles and thumbnails, but I've found that thumbnails have the biggest impact. So that's almost always where I start. So I'm gonna select thumbnails and hit next step. And from here, we're gonna upload our alternate thumbnail versions. I click on this thumbnail drop down. As you can see, as I scroll down, I have quite a few alternates that I create for almost all my videos. Some of the time I actually create up to, look at this video. Look, I've created 40 different versions of this thumbnail. Anyway, let's continue down and found our variations. Here they are. So what you're gonna do is click on the next step. And from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna always make sure that include original thumbnail is checked. Test speed, make sure that's on daily. Test format, we're actually gonna change that from classic to consecutive. And then what you're gonna do down in the suggested days, you're going to Look at the number of thumbnails that you have. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you're gonna multiply that number by seven. Six times seven equals 42. There we go, math genius. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come into this drop down here and we're gonna select 42. And this is the part where we can talk about what to do if you don't have any videos that are getting 500 impressions a week. Basically, you're just going to extend the amount of time relative to how many impressions you're getting. So for example, if I have a video that's not getting 500 impressions a week, it's getting 250, that's half of 500. What I would do is because I'm getting half as many impressions, I'm going to double the amount of days that I run my test for to make sure that my results are as statistically significant as possible. Now you can run shorter tests, but just bear in mind that the results you're going to be getting 
won't be as statistically significant. And so the probability that your test doesn't actually work becomes higher. So from here, all you're gonna do is click on run test. It's gonna create our test. And from here, we can click on ongoing. In ongoing, what we're gonna see is that test we create is just here. If we click on it, once this test is actually run, it's gonna show us which of these thumbnails is more likely to get the maximum amount of love from the algorithm. Now, obviously we're not gonna wait 42 days for this one to run. So I've already run a test on this video earlier. So here's kind of what a test would look like once it's actually being run. Thumbnail test is gonna show us all of the analytics for the individual thumbnails that it was running. So let's actually analyze this data. Now, earlier I mentioned that the RCS method is a bit different to just improving your impression click-through rate. And the reason for that is that if we were to just analyze these test results, what we can see is that this thumbnail got a click-through rate of 5.22%. This thumbnail got a click-through rate of 5.43%. And this thumbnail got a click-through rate of 5.21%. Now, if we were just working purely off, oh, we need to improve our click-through rate, we would probably select this thumbnail as our best one. But ultimately, what we care about is not improving our click-through rate, but ultimately look at views and impressions. So if we stop looking at click-through rate and instead look at our views, we can see a very clear winner. This thumbnail, our third one has 22,000 views compared to our other ones, which have 15 and 19,000 views. It also is a clear winner in terms of impressions. This video has over 300,000 impressions in this time period, whereas the other ones have 270 and 220. So even though technically from a click-through rate metric perspective, this third thumbnail is actually the worst one, my opinion is this thumbnail is actually our best performer. It's our most clickable thumbnail because it got us the most views and the most impressions. So what I would do is update my thumbnail from this one, the original, which actually got me the least amount of views to this one or a variation of this one, which is gonna be the most amount of views. What that's gonna do is start to compound my growth and hopefully lead to this video starting to grow a bit more exponentially and get a couple of hundred thousand more views. And I know this video is getting hundreds of thousands of views, but you can use this exact same process even if you're getting hundreds or sometimes even just tens of views. And the beauty is with thumbnail tests, you can be running as many tests as you want at the same time. So you can just constantly be testing your thumbnails and titles, making them better and better and better and exponentially growing all of the views across your channel. So if I was you watching this video right now, here's what I would do. First, get thumbnail test and connect it to your channel. Like I said, you can use the link and code down below to get 25% off your first month. And after that, what I would do is make the RCS part of your weekly schedule. Make the goal of posting one new video a week and also using the RCS method on one older video every single week. And I think you'll be surprised by not only how many extra views it's gonna get you, but also how much better this will lead your future thumbnails to becoming. Because if you're constantly testing and experimenting with the thumbnails of older videos, you can then use all of those learnings to make your newer video thumbnails so much better. Oh, and also if you're not ready for that and you're just not getting any views or impressions on your videos, you can click the video on the screen where I'm gonna show you a method that I use to get more views and impressions on my videos from scratch when I'm starting from zero. Thanks for watching, check it out.